Welcome to this week's vlog. It is Tuesday, the 22nd of January, 12.05 p.m., 71 degrees outside. Oh, how are you? I hope this week finds you well, or if you're watching this on Sunday, this Sunday finds you well. Um, it doesn't find me so well. <laughs> this, this day didn't start off the greatest. Whatever, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I know I'm a mess. We got home yesterday afternoon from Austin from a wonderful weekend with friends. It was just an amazing weekend. And I hope that we get to do it again pretty soon, this time with more friends, uh, Deb and Brian. And you know, we can spend another wonderful weekend together. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be exotic or, or tropical in nature. It doesn't have to be any of those. It can just be good friends, breaking bread, and enjoying conversation and friendship. And that's what we had this weekend. And <laughs> Carl is amazing, truly. So you guys know we have been working on a new name. We've been working on some new concepts for the channel and things like that. And we have finalized our decision. And thanks to Carl, he's come up with new concepts for us. Amazing, truly amazing. We brainstormed, mostly Carl brainstormed, and we came up, he came up with an intro. It's just, I can't wait to share it with you guys. I truly can't wait to share it with you guys. So I have a lot of work ahead of me. We're hoping to roll it out the first week of February. but it may be the second depending upon how uh, the timing works with getting um, everything sorted out and put together and that kind of thing. So um, sometimes the, the digital end of things takes a little bit longer than you'd like. So anyway, so there you go. Um, let me check this very quickly. Um, so I broke my diet this weekend. To be completely honest, um, Sunday in the afternoon, um, I just decided, you know what, maybe, I just decided maybe it wouldn't be so terrible to have a little bit, and, um, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I had a little bit more on Monday. Not a good idea, so now I know. <laughs> I kind of had to learn the hard way. I, that must be something that is ingrained in me. I have to learn the hard way on everything. But I definitely have learned my lesson. Um, I go to the doctor on Thursday. I'm, I'm a little nervous, you know. Um, they're going to go over the results of my testing on Thursday. And hopefully it's just, you know, same old, same old. You know, yeah. You ha This is that. And this is this. And you're fine. And just keep moving forward and you're going to improve. Hopefully that's it. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to be positive. Anyway, so... Uh, what's on the agenda for today? Well, I got grandma's appointments made, my appointments made. Um, so for the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a, a series of doctor visits. Um, she is doing well. She is recovering well. She's at home. No more, no more seizures as of now. Her medication's actually working, which is a great relief. A great relief. Um, she's having a few side effects from it, which hopefully will pass here pretty soon. But you know, I I don't know. It's it's always contingent on the one person's body. Um, so, but we're really hoping that we don't have to change anything as of now because it's actually working. So we hope the side effects will subside. Um, sometimes they do. Sometimes the body just needs some time to acclimate to a new medication. I'm no doctor. That's just personal experience from my family members. Um, anyway, so, um, there you go. And today, um, <laughs> I have got to catch up on comments your beautiful, wonderful, loving, supportive comments. I need to catch up on them because you guys really, truly are amazing. Do you know that? You're amazing. And I sincerely, <clears throat> I sincerely appreciate, we both sincerely appreciate your love, your support, and your kindness. Thank you. So, a couple of very dear friends sent us a package. You did not have to do that. I've already spoken with him. I already told him thank you. Um, I don't know what's in here. My little handy dandy Amazon cutter. Now, I don't know if they're comfortable with me saying their name. So it's A and A. 
we have sailed with them before um, group cruises we have um, we were on the bliss with them they're just the sweetest people and they always send postcards notes it's they're amazing I wish I was that kind of person I really do what are you fussing about I need to I need to be better at that. I really, really do. I I get so caught up in how busy I am. I really would like to do that more. Send out post whoop, send out postcards. Almost chopped my finger off. Not literally, but you know. Oh, there's a note. Oh, there can't be a note. I haven't even opened it. <laughs> Weepy. A little note. Thank you very much. Excuse me. You guys, um, it's been such a crappy couple of weeks. Between Grandma being in the hospital, all this Amy stuff, Sea Cruiser stuff breaking, me being dragged down in it. It's been a really rough, a rough time. And oh, stop. My husband, my friends, the community, strangers, people have reached out to us and been so kind and so supportive. Um, this is a positive channel, so I'm going to get through this quick. You can't even know what it's meant to us. So, you, my friend, are amazing. I'm the one that's blessed, truly. I'm really not a weepy girl. Oh, you know when you get mad, ladies, and you cry because you're mad and you don't want to do that? <laughs> Oh, you guys. Hold on, let me get this open. This is so awesome. Look. Thank you so much. See, now I have a little piece of you everywhere. I go with my little mug. <laughs> sounds silly but every time I have a look at this I'll think of you and that'll bring me comfort and that means a lot to me thank you very very much I'm so sorry for this weepy little session <laughs> you send me sweet things I get weepy <laughs> just just a nice little respite from this crazy few days we've had so thank you very much you guys you are my blessing you are amazing thank you okay so it is now 257 let's make um, some tortillas here's what we're making well it's not real clear but that's what we're making tortillas these are quite small to start this is blanched it worked fine for me but I know there is a difference between blanched and regular I just don't know what it is Okay, add, so we need, this is key, scale, although I need to get one that is a little easier. Oh, almost knocked over the apple cider vinegar. Okay, so we are in grams, we are teared. There's coffee, coffee grounds. All right, 96 grams of almond flour. Select, pour into the food processor. Then we need 24 grams. I'm making three batches of these, so I'm just gonna leave everything out. 24 grams of coconut flour. It smells so good. I like the smell, not always the taste. 
okay and then two teaspoons of xanthan gum now xanthan gum uh, it's just it's in everything i think it kind of gives it chewiness i don't know but oh never calls for very much i keep mine in a ziplock but I want to get a better container for it. Baking powder and salt. There's my baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder. Um, and I have heard you need the aluminum free to prevent stuff from turning green. But I don't know if that's for this or something else. So don't use it with aluminum. And uh, one eighth to a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, and the salt is contingent upon something else, sweet or savory. Okay, so we need an eighth, I mean a quarter. And kosher salt is important in my opinion. Okay, now my thingy is broken, so I have to do this in a non, whoops, maybe if I put it on the right way, non-traditional way because Broken, so I have to kind of press in here. Nope, I have to leave it open and press it. Don't be like me. Get a new one. All right, so now it's all mixed. Now we need to pour in apple cider vinegar. We need how much apple cider vinegar? I'm gonna get this recipe down here pretty soon. I'll get it to where I remember it. So it's well combined and then we want one egg all right once it forms a ball you take it out and it's done well I mean that's done that part, part's done. Now, it says to wrap it in like cling wrap or plastic wrap, but it always breaks on me. So it's very sticky dough. So I'm going to try it in a Ziploc bag. Oh, this is really sticky today. Because you have to sort of knead it, but this may be a mistake. You don't know until you try it. Now, I know a lot of you say, oh, you can rub your hands in oil or butter or... It's not called for in this recipe, meaning the um, ingredient is not, and I don't want to alter the taste, so I don't. And you knead it. You gotta knead the dough for a couple of minutes. How long does it say? Uh, knead it through the plaster wrap for a minute or two. Think of it like a bit like a stress ball. Um, and then you need to let it rest for 10 minutes and up to two days in the fridge. Okay, here's my terrible pan, cheap from Aldi. It needs to be replaced, but it's working for now. So I'm gonna put this on the oven or the stove. All right, so here's my dough. There you go. Now you have to get two pieces of parchment paper and roll it out in between and put the parchment up. One second. I know there's pre-made low-carb tortillas out there. If you can have gluten, you can have those. Um, obviously, I can't, so. Alrighty, let me put this on here because I'd like to weigh out my dough and divide it into six portions so it's exactly right. You start from the middle and you work your way out. Um, I use a glass, oh, this is plastic. I use something like this because it gives me more control and I can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, but you can use a rolling pin. I just found that this was easier than the rolling pin 
This is a double, so this, oh, it's still, it's too thick over here. I need to roll this out a little more. And then there are the singles all rolled out, uh, ready for me to roll out. So I'm not sure I caught that last time, so I'll show you again in just a second. Okay, so I put it in, I have flipped it. It cooks very quickly. Oh, my thing is hanging on. My camera's having a moment. I hit a setting and now I need to figure out how to change it back. So there you go. That's really all there is to it. I'm sorry, it just wiggled like that. I'm having a bad day with my camera. So, you know, and you can, you know, brown it as much as you want. Chandler, can you grab me a plate? A plastic, a paper one. So, and there you go. And you just keep on rolling them out and putting them in there and cooking them just like you would a regular, regular tortilla. Okay, there they are. The larger burrito size are on the bottom and then the taco size, I mean, you can see, they're not huge, are on the top. So they're very, very good. Uh, I, I re really, I mean, you see they're very pliable, flexible, no, the dogs love the smell of them. Um, fold them right in half for a taco. They hold up well when they're moist, you know, from the drippings from the taco. They do really, really well. So I'm about, ooh, focus. I'm about to go change. Um, we are gonna run to the store because there's about four things I need. Uh, HEB didn't have a couple of things, so I need to grab, when we did placed our order last week, so I need to grab those and lettuce because we don't have any shredded lettuce. And um, that's about it. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here's dinner. Keto tacos. Those are the tortillas. And that's some guacamole and sour cream and a little bit of jalapeno and beef. Okay, I'm back. It's uh, 9.30. Uh, good news from the doctor. Um, my everything was just, it's inflammation. It's, uh, it could be a couple of different things. No need to go into all of that. But as of now, the course we're taking is to stay off the corn, stay off the, the rice, just continue on the diet I'm on um, to really see if I have some marked improvements and no more falling off that diet as I did this last weekend because that messes with results. Um, and um, so there you go. Um, but there's no cancer, which is what I was afraid of. And so that's good. And um, let me get my coffee. So she added a couple of like digestive enzyme things or one to uh, my diet and um, there you go. But pretty much what she said was because I broke my diet this weekend and then had extreme symptoms after that, it was likely it was food, it's food related, which seems to be everything for me. So whatever, um, but I'm good to go. So I'm gonna let my kiddo know and uh, then I'm going to get busy on this day. A couple of you asked about this. It's just a, a lady and you see she's in a striped top with her big sunglasses on a cup of coffee with her lipstick says good morning. I just sort of felt like that's kind of me. Just thought it was super cute. She's very pretty. So there you go. I picked this up from Nordstrom. It was in there after Christmas like markdown sale. It was $7.99 something. No, nope, wrong way. Good morning. Uh, we're gonna try this for a while. Uh, we're in a little bit of a different spot. Okay, let's start this day. It is 637, the 25th of January, 37 degrees outside. It was about 35 when we got up this morning. Uh, yesterday morning, it was in the low 30s. It was like 29 to 30, that's not the 30s, 29 to 31 degrees outside, depending upon which weather app you looked at. She's being picked on this morning, so we'll just let her sit here. We just let her sit here and hide her face, huh? Oh, that's so sad. Mommy has you. Anyway, um, so Grayson, you can't pick on her. Oh, he is going to be a bully today. <gasps> Mommy knows all about bullies this week, doesn't she? You need to get down. Come on, I can't. I can't help you because she's upset. I I know. Oh, Grayson, get down. Thank you. Oh, are you ready to show your face? Oh, who's that? Wanna hide it some more? No, I'll hide it some more. You know, it's impossible to talk to me. <laughs> just, it's like I have a bunch of two-year-olds running around. I just made a quesadilla. I skipped breakfast again on accident. I got busy. Um, and it's 
30. I know it's still flashing. I'll get it. Um, and uh, I made a quesadilla. I kind of burned it because I got distracted in the middle of cooking, but it's still going to be tasty. And I make it with the, the almond flour tortillas. Uh, so this is, this whole lunch is five grams of carbs, which I think is actually high, but whatever. I can get 20 for the day and I've only had seven so far with my coffee and um, actually and not even, so six and a half, um, roughly. So here you go, I'm having an avocado and a cheese quesadilla. Uh, just for today, I need to get my meal prep and planning done, and I need some tomatoes. I, I would like to have, add some tomatoes, and I keep forgetting to get them, so uh, I can then have a salad, and I kinda think I'd enjoy that. Hold on. So you can see it's a little burnt on the edges, which isn't really great for you, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to eat it anyway, and there's my avocado. Uh, and um, I'm excited. It's gonna be tasty. I love quesadillas. I really do. Even crispy burnt ones. So here I am. It is 5.39. Um, I did not get any of my, well, I got stuff done today, but I didn't get, oops, I just did that wrong, sorry. Um, I didn't get uh, my shower done, none of that. I actually, got caught up on the computer working because I realized it was Friday and I didn't, I don't have a vlog for tomorrow for the Bliss, Bliss vlog ready for tomorrow. So that's what I did today. It's uploading right now and I am looking for the recipe because we're gonna make pizza for dinner tonight. Keto marinara, there's Rob. Hi. Hi. Did you get it? Yes, I did. Is it in the garage? Yeah, I just left it there. He went and got the, what did you get? The pipe for the hot water heater. Yes. So he and Taylor are going to fix that this evening. I'm going to cook dinner. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> so anyway, let's hope that fixes the water heater and we don't have to replace the water heater. The master cheese grater came home and grated all the cheese. <laughs> I have to say, if you're, I'm, I'm holding the tripod because it was so loud, I was trying to pull it away. Let me move it, hold on. We're going to do like a lot of the fat bomb recipes with keto and stuff like that. I really recommend, this is a salad, oops, a salad shooter. We got it off of Amazon. Um, we, I know, hold on. I'm trying to do too many things. Ah! Here's the other part of the yeah. salad shooter. Here's the other part and you put the cheese pieces in the top and you push it down and it grates it. Um, we had the salad shooter from before because we, of course, are big cheese eaters. Mm -hmm. um, my iPad's over here. Okay, so I'm gonna make the recipe really quickly. It's super simple, um, but there are some things you, you know, you have to do it in order and follow the directions. And I have told you, uh, I weigh everything. Like I said, this scale is not the best. I, I need a bigger scale, but um, it'll do for now. And, Maybe not a bigger scale, just one that's easier to read because this, the, it's, the number sits right under here and if you have something sitting, it blocks it and so you're trying to see it. So it's just a little cumbersome. cumbersome, a little not so great. So, but it'll do for now. Um, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Um, my food processor is broken, my, my little clip, so I have to push a thing in there, it won't lock, so I have to push a little spoon in there to trick it into thinking it's locked. So if you see me doing that, that's what I'm doing. All right, let's get busy. Okay, Chandler's vacuuming for me. So um, I'm gonna make three more d batches of this because we're having three pizzas. And then um, I will come back and show you how I roll it out and all that fun stuff. Okay. okay, so here are the three batches of dough. You wanna get them in, you want them to come into a ball in the food processor. 
and here's our cheese. <laughs> and then um, once you get them in a ball, uh, it says to wrap it in plastic wrap, but I put it in the zip top bag just because the plastic wrap doesn't work as well for me. I find this to be easier and you wanna knead it until it's not, until it's dough, you know, until it forms a nice smooth ball. Good. Now we're gonna kind of put it in a ball and give it a minute. It needs to rest. It's a little, might be a little dry. A little, little dry, but that's okay. I, I don't actually like it too, too moist. I find that, that it's too sticky and difficult to work with. So um, the recipe says up to five teaspoons of water. Um, I think I used three to four on each of them. And as you're putting it in the food processor, it'll come together in a ball. And that's when you stop adding water. So we're gonna let it rest. And then we're gonna roll out our, our dough to a 12 inch diameter as much as we can in between two sheets. It says plastic wrap, right? Parchment paper. We're gonna roll it between parchment paper and get it as close to 12 inches as we can. Then we'll roll it up, make it look like a pizza dough and put it in the skillet and cook it. Okay, so we gotta make the marinara sauce before while we're waiting for the dough to rest. It's super simple. Um, it's just, it's in a recipe book. It's a whole, I can't, so I can't share it because it's copyright, but it's a whole can of tomatoes, spices, olive oil, a little bit of red wine vinegar. It's just a basic marinara sauce, nothing fancy. It just tastes nice and simple, so we really like it. Um, and it's, uh, since it's homemade, there's fewer carbs in it, there's fewer extra stuff in it, and it's much less expensive than my beloved Victoria sauce from Costco. I'm not saying I'm never buying that again because we love it. I'm just saying we're doing this for now because it, it's it right in line with where we need to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna whiz it up in the food presser so throw it on the stove. Okay, so I have my Silpat down here just because I find that actually works a little better. It's a little damp here because it's been so, it's kind of a multi-step process. And my first one didn't come out so great. So here's the dough, it's been resting. It may be a little dry. Yeah, it's probably a little dry. Put the parchment on top and then we're gonna roll it out. This a little closer to you, so maybe you can see a little better. And the pan, pan needs to be the pan needs to be pretty hot, um, but I found it actually was too hot. It, said, it says screaming hot in the directions, but I actually found it was too hot. So, cooked a little too quickly. So we're gonna roll this out into a 12 inch circle, roughly. My pan is about 12 inches, so it's kinda small. I need a bigger pan for this. There you go. And then we will roll up the edges to help, help the shape, help it be more like an actual pizza, which, I mean, it is an actual pizza. It's a little thin right there. All right. And it said to use damp fingers, but I really don't want to make the dough sticky again. So I'm not dampening my fingers. Um, so I'd like to experiment with this with maybe just some olive oil to kind of give it a little more flavor. But. I don't know, I need to experiment with that. Okay, so there we go, so let me move the camera. Okay, so here's our pan. Like I said, this pan really isn't big enough, but this is the biggest pan I have, so. Now it said to take the dough and put the top down first. Oh, that one fit much better, okay. Now we're gonna let it cook. This is a dry pan. Let me stir my sauce over here. Now this is a little thin for a pizza sauce. Um, I could thicken this up with a little tomato paste um, 
or something, but it is a little thin for a pizza sauce. All right, this is kind of a guessing game for me right now as to how long it takes for this to really cook since, you know, this is really my first time. We're just gonna wait and then we're going to plop this out. Oh, that's done. We're gonna plop this out on the pan. Okay, still too warm. It's cooking too fast. So we blistered that side. Now we're gonna put it back in the pan. I just, it's easier because this high sides on this pan. I flip it out over there on my, um, what's that thing called? Silpat pate thing. Silpat roller. <laughs> that thing. Um, just because it's easier. Now, the directions say now you're supposed to dress the pizza and put the lid on it. I need to perfect the temperature in the pan. I need to figure out exactly what it needs to be on before I'm willing to cover it and cook my toppings. So we're gonna put it on a pan and put it in the oven. I have the oven preheating to 400. So there you go, that's about it. The next step I'll show you, I'm gonna make the next dough and I'll be right back. Okay, so here are all three of our pizzas. This one, I think we're starting to get the hang of it. Um, so now we're going to dress the pizza. Like I said, my sauce is too thin. You don't want this thin of a sauce. For, well, you might like that, but it, this is too thin for us. So um, we're going to make do this time because I don't have anything else. Like I said, you can finish this in the stove top. Um, you, we're just going to put it in the oven for ease. Give it a nice crisp bake. Taylor, do you want light sauce or extra sauce? Uh, normal sauce. Normal sauce, okay. All right. This one is, uh, this is, I don't know. I think this is mine in, in uh, Chandler's Pizza. Or Rob's Pizza. Do you want pepperoni, Taylor? Yes, please. All right, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Here's one cooked. This one I believe belongs to Robert. Oh yeah, it's a little soft, so there we go. We'll have to see how it is. This thing is not working very well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe because I wasn't. No, nope, it does terrible. Now I'm very proud of Rob for trying this. He's not a big fan of trying this kind of thing, so we'll see what he thinks. And if he doesn't like it, he has leftover. Okay, well, I think maybe it's just a pepperoni. He has leftover tacos to eat. Good grief. Nothing cuts these pepperonis. All right, there we go. Okay, so they're all done. I've gotten two thumbs up so far. So I'm going to try it, and we're going to see what it tastes like. First bite with no pepperoni. It's very hot. It just came out of the oven. But my family's eating it. It's soft. So I gotta play with the cooking time a little bit. That's pizza. I mean, that's pretty good. I'm pleased with this. Super simple to get the dough to come together, even if it was like a busy work night. So maybe you could meal prep the dough uh, one day during the week It says it'll stay good for up to five days. So you can maybe prep it on a Sunday and uh, or a day off whatever your day might be and you could have it make mini pizzas throughout the week That was the suggestion in there or if you have a big family you can make two or three it I'd say this total took an hour mm -hmm. Between making the crust cooking it and um, Topping it that kind of thing. So not too bad for three pizzas used to take me 
all day to make three homemade pizzas and uh, of course they were full of gluten and really tasty. <laughs> These are good though. <laughs> Taylor was agreeing with the really tasty. They liked mom's homemade pizza. <laughs> so the marinara sauce tonight came out of this recipe book, page 106, oh, Keto for okay. Life. So there you go. Um, and the meatball recipe that so many of you liked so much last week came out of this same book, Keto for Life, on page 192. So um, this is the book I just started with. Uh, it just kind of had a lot of appealing things in here to me. So um, <clears throat> we're going to make ooh, raspberry cake, snickerdoodle haystacks, pecan shortbread cookies. Yes, please. So we're just going to make ooh, pumpkin spice cupcakes. Uh, ooh, lemon sour cream bunt cake. <laughs> I, I love lemon bunt cake. <laughs> sour Lemon sour cream bunt cake's even better. Hello. It is Sunday, the 27th of January, 9.56 a.m., 52 degrees outside. Um, I know that's been driving some of you batty. So I'm going to fix it right now just for you. How's that? I think that's good. Now, it's not spaced properly. We know that. Uh, the E and the T, the A in the middle of the E and the T is not spaced properly. Uh, we do need to redo that. I think the E is still a little crooked. Little step Probably, but. It's right there. Oh, the little bitty one, yeah. Hi, Mama. Much better, huh? <laughs> you guys, I've actually received messages about that. <laughs> So, um, what happens is you close the door, our back door, if it closes too hard or something, it rattles it and shakes it. But actually, at this time, I was dusting it and I knocked it crooked and totally forgot to put it back. So, um, there you go. <laughs> okay, there you go. I'm gonna have a sandwich and actually a wrap. I'm gonna make uh, a wrap with my keto tortillas that we made, Chandler and I made in bulk the other day. And then I'm going to have with ham and a piece of provolone, because I'm out of Swiss and some pickles and some um, mayonnaise and maybe some avocado because I don't, I don't have any cauliflower prepared right now. And then what else? What else am I gonna have? Um, some Topo Chico to drink. And then we're gonna get in the car and we have lots of errands to run and I have my Osmo Pocket in my bag, my bag, so we can take you with us. We're gonna try it out in public, see how we feel. Because I'll vlog all day long in public, away from home, but at home, it mortifies me. Because I'm weird. Okay, so we're on our little Osmo pocket. It is 11.30. Um, we are heading over to Bed Bath & Beyond because I need some ramekins. And I need something else that's on my list. Hello. Pillow, that's it. Um, so, I keep ordering pillows from Amazon and online and I need to stop doing that because I, they're not working. And then I'm weird about wanting to send them back. You know, I know what like Amazon says you can. That just weirds me out. I, I don't want to send back a used pillow to anyone. So, or, um, get or get one, right? That's just, ugh. So I buy really inexpensive pillows because I'm always afraid they're not gonna work and then I've invested money. So I'm gonna try them out here at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm gonna like touch them and feel them and all that stuff. So finally wearing my contacts today. It's been a minute since I've worn them so I could wear my sunglasses because it's so bright out. Um, so there you go. All right, well, bring it inside. We're gonna try this out. I'm so nervous. All right, there she is. Hi, honey. Hello. Rob got stuck behind some traffic. It's an interesting little tool. Hello. All right, ramekins. Set up for eight ounce, six ounce. All right, so I want two six ounces. Because, because I'm not real sure what I'm gonna need yet. I'm just gonna buy a couple of each and I'll see which ones I actually use the most and then um, I'll pick up more. What size is this? Six ounce, I'm looking for four ounce, but I 
Well, I guess four isn't terrible. That's four is fine. And then two, what size are these? These are 10 ounce. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. We'll get those. Okay. So I think the eight ounce is going to be what we use the most. It's um, for baking little desserts and stuff, and I don't want to make 800 of them, so that's good. Oh, look at the pizza pan. I do need a new pizza pan dedicated to just mommy. I'm sorry, just favor. <laughs> Have it. Yeah, so nobody uses their gluten-y stuff on my pizza pan. But I like that it has holes in it because um, that really does help cook a pizza better. How much is this? Do we know? Oh, pizza. Large pizza pan, $12.99. That's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. I got to get it all seasoned. The one we have is all seasoned. It's like black and, you know, it looks disgusting, but it's the best. That's what you want it to look like. Okay, I'm going to try out some pillows. Let's see what I'll find. Hopefully I can find something good that's not ridiculous, like $149. Oh, that's a cover. Thank goodness. It's expensive. All right, be back. Okay, so I found a pillow or two. Um, I'm going to kind of go home and cover them and then try to experiment with them and see which one works better because I don't need two pillows. But I couldn't figure out if side sleeper or front sleeper was the one for me. I don't know. So, um, so we'll see. Where are we headed to now, honey? Oh, he's having a drink. It got warm. The new H Mart. Oh, that's right. We're going to go to this store. It's called H Mart. If you, if we only had smell of vision So there's like a ton of Asian restaurants around here. So I'm going to flip you around so you can see. Uh, and tea shops, like we have a Tommy. Uh, yummy pho. Uh, I don't know. There's lots. I mean, there's just tons of Asian restaurants and tea places. It smells amazing out here. Sweet Me Up, HK Food, and Dim Sum. Oh, man. If I could eat right now, I would eat it all. <laughs> it smells so good. I'm going to have to tell the kids about this. Uh, they really, well, Chandler can't right now, but they really enjoy Asian and Indian cuisine. It's like some of their favorites. Mmm, Swiss cake rolls strawberry. <laughs> What is that? Coconut. Oh, nice. Wow. This is awesome. I really like this. Fresh cream pie. Okay. Yummy. Soft flour cake. Chinese noodles. Japanese ramen. Udon noodles. Bet I could find shirataki. Yeah, these are something I've been looking at. Interesting. peek for you. That's what I think is interesting. Okay, so uh, that place was really cool. Um, lots of people. So many things to choose from. I've never seen so much. It's just amazing. Um, of course, it's an Asian market, so there was lots to choose from, but I can't even tell you. It ran the gamut, like outside. It ran the gamut of smells from sweet to savory to spicy to oh, but I, all, the all the things. Okay, just left H-E-B. I'll do a little haul with you and uh, from Bed Bath & Beyond and from um, H-E-B so you can see what all we got. 
Okay, so we're back from the all the stores. We're finally back home. Um, so I'm gonna show you a quick haul. The dogs just came in from going potty, so they're all getting drinks. So here we go. Okay, this was today's fun. Bop, bop, no, no. She puts her head in the grocery bags. Okay, so this is the pillow I picked up. So this is one of them. It's, it's a side sleeper, and then this one is, I don't know. Uh, what is this? It's the stomach and back sleeper. So I just wanted to kind of take them out of the package and kind of give them a feel and see what I thought of them. Not necessarily use them because you know how I feel. And these were kind of expensive. So we'll see. Um, these were on clearance and Rob wanted them. He loves gummy things. These were also in the clearance section. Mistletoe, cookie, Christmas cookie, Christmas cookie. This one is cinnamon, sparkling cinnamon. And another mistletoe. I will burn these all throughout the year. I love those scents. Those are the ones I'll keep all year long. Um, especially in the winter, I love the mistletoe. Or the, it smells like uh, the fresh balsam from uh, Bath and Body Works. Mm. I know it's not necessarily good for me, but I love them. Um, an airbag pizza pan. I talked to you about this in the store. I'm really excited to have this. I can't wait to season it up and get it, you know non-stick on its own and then here are the eight ounce ramekins the six ounce ramekins and the i'm sorry these are the 10 ounce right i said that wrong i think yeah 10 ounce i'm sorry it's not even the camera 10 ounce six ounce and eight ounce so uh there we go and that's bed bath and beyond and i think it was a hundred and something dollars 120 dollars something like that um, so then here is H-E-B, an avocado, lettuce, green onions, uh, onion powder, lilies, dark chocolate. I have found the last couple of nights, um, just like seven or eight, ten of these little thingies, little, it makes me feel better. I don't know. I just, I like it. I enjoy it. It's a nice little treat. A yellow onion, a red onion, a tomato, strawberry extract, because I want to make one of these vanilla things, strawberry. I want to see if that works. Um, limes, fresh mozzarella. They're the salmon cakes I told you about. Kosher salt, uh, tomatoes, sour cream. This is for Chandler. Um, cottage cheese. He really likes cottage cheese. These were, uh, they had a coupon. I need, I'm out of travel toothbrushes, so you guys know I... I can't use them more. I can't, I can't deal with gross. I'm grossed out about toothbrushes. Anyway, so these were on sale for $2 or a dollar. It was either $2 or a dollar. I don't remember. Um, romaine lettuce because on the meal plan this week is um, Caesar salad. Um, cucumber. And then this is, I don't, I think I talked about this. Creamy ranch and it's just very simple ingredients. So... It's not high olic. I don't know what that means. Uh, I want to, and then Caesar, I really want to eventually make my own. I just haven't had a time this week. I really have not. Um, and then here are the H-E-B waters I talked to you guys about. It's the flavored waters. That one's lemon. And then here is from, I'm sorry, puppers, from H-Mart, the alfalfa sprouts, and the thin sliced brisket. I mean, you can see it's super thin. We're going to uh, pan fry this or something and uh, make a Philly cheese steak or a Philly cheese wrap out of it. I know it's not traditionally brisket, but we really like brisket. And, and it's so super thin. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. I really, I can't. So I'm going to put all this stuff away, pull out my recipes, and get busy. You guys, uh, I just realized we didn't close out last week's vlog at all. So it's actually Tuesday of the following week. So I'm going to go ahead and close out last week's vlog. So thank you very much for watching. We truly appreciate you. The comments that you guys have been leaving for us, the messages, the emails, and I promise I'm going to respond and reply to each and every one of you. Um, as you may be aware of by now, we are having grandma's back in the hospital and it is very it's time consuming and it's not going great. So, um, so I'm behind, but when I have a minute, I jump in, I'm trying to respond to comments and I'm going to get to messages and emails. Um, because all of you are amazing and I really want you to know how much I appreciate you. We, we really do. We appreciate you very much. So thank you very much for watching. Truly welcome. If you are new, we've had a lot of new subscribers. 
We're so happy you joined our community and uh, our little family. So again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.